Hello everyone and welcome to this overview of what's new in Vantage 2 Update 2. This is a significant update and we added support for the Viri Fur, Vernatrix Hair Farm and Next Gen Hair plugins along with the Viri Hair Next material. We also added support for the Viri displacement and uh, finally we added support for the Intel Meteor Lake integrated GPUs. So I'm going to show the new features with this scene, this is what it looks like. And it also has some animation, uh, day to night, we have the lights being turned on, the fire. All right, so uh, I'm going to get closer to the fireplace and talk about the displacement first. Now you can see uh, we already have some displacement and I'm going to adjust it, uh, bump it out a little bit. Uh, of course, this is too much to pronounce, so I'm going to bring it back to the normal ranges. And uh, this is without it, you can see how much flood the light responds in here. And now um, there's much more detail and everything looks uh, better. I'm going to adjust this piece so that we can see how we can work with the displacement. Um, I'm going to bump this a little bit more and take a look at the map. I'm using a procedural noise. And uh, let's adjust the size. And you can see there is not much polygons. So in order to show the uh, tessellation, I'm going to bring this back or uh, make it smaller. And then uh, I'm going to enable the very edges texture that I have uh, prepared to see the triangles. Now, um, the traditional controls for tessellation do not apply for Vantage. So uh, I'm going to show you how to adjust this in the preferences. We have a global setting for the tessellation located here. Now, currently this is at low. Um, let's switch between the different settings, maximize the viewport first. Okay, so none doesn't tessellate at all. Uh, low tessellates with a small factor, medium goes higher, and so on. And now you can see there are much more polygons we can work with. So I'm going to uh, remove the clutter. And um, yeah, you can see that the noise is visualized nicely. Let's uh, change the size again. All right. And uh, let's now talk about memory consumption. I'm going to uh, switch to the high tessellation. You can see it takes a little bit more time to calculate. And also the memory goes up uh, quite a lot. So there is uh, about three gigabytes of difference between the medium and the uh, high. Um, of course, this is uh, dependent on scene, but uh, be very careful when adjusting these settings uh, so that you don't get any instabilities. All right, um, I'm going to switch to the next camera, which is the rug, to demonstrate the uh, V-Ray 4 support and the hair material. You can see it already in action, so let's adjust some of the parameters. Um, take a look at the rug, okay. So uh, the material is using a texture. I'm going to turn it off for a bit so that we can use just a single color to colorize uh, the material or the rug. All right, it, it looks nice. Uh, let's adjust some of the parameters like length. Um, and uh, I'm going to bring back the texture because it looks nicer. Okay. Currently, this is a diffuse material, but you can also use the melanin, uh, which introduces translucency as well. All right, uh, let's bring it back and adjust some of the parameters, uh, increase the density. Okay, and uh, I'm going to bring some variation with the pre-painted maps that I have. And uh, finally, I'm going to enable the curl parameter. Just bring some more variation and make it uh, fluffy and, and dense and nice. All right, let's have a look at the close-up camera again to see the detail. Great. So these were the highlights, but there are many other additions to this update, so I encourage you to go ahead and have a look. I hope you like the new features. Thanks for watching and take care.